Hey, what's up everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three time management secrets that top producers use to close more deals with less effort and have a whole lot more fun and a whole lot more funds in their bank account. It's about getting more from less. It's about being in the flow. It's about being focused on the things that push the needle on profit and performance in your business at the highest level. It's about majoring in the majors as opposed to the minors. It's about picking up the dollars instead of skipping over the dollars to pick up the dimes. And frankly, this is a very common question among mortgage professionals. How do I manage my time? They'll say, what's the best way to manage my time? And that really speaks to a time management myth a time management myth, and that is that we manage time. The truth is we can't manage time. We can only manage within time. You can't manage time. You can't change the dial on the clock. You can't rewind the tape. You can't push it forward. All you have is the perennial stream of now. It's now, it's now, it's now. Every moment is an opening for us to step up in power in the now and to focus on the things that make the biggest difference in our life and our business. The problem is most mortgage professionals have been, have been conditioned, have been trained to think that they can manage time. No, you can only manage yourself. So the breakthrough starts with owning the fact that nothing will change until you change. Owning the fact that you learn to lead yourself more productively within time, moment by moment, choice by choice, breath by breath. And obviously none of us are perfect. Sometimes we get in the weeds. Sometimes we are the proverbial squirrels chasing the bright, shiny objects. Sometimes we feel lethargic or we feel under the weather. And when we feel no bueno, we tend to do no bueno. Have you noticed when you don't feel great, you tend not to do great. On the flip side, when you feel great, you tend to do great. When you feel powerful, when you feel clear minded, when you've got pep in your step and sparkle in your eye, when your battery is charged, you've got extra juice in the fruit, you've got more fuel in the rocket to take your action more powerfully, more productively. So there's a lot of different factors involved here but it really comes down to owning that there is no time management. There's only management of self within time. And so with that as a preface, let's dive in, shall we? Let's get into the three time management secrets that top producers use to close more deals with less effort and have a whole lot more fun, flow, and fulfillment at the same time. The first one is maximizing your mornings maximizing your mornings. Now you might be thinking, Doran, that's so unsexy. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go to bed earlier. I need to get up earlier. I need to do more of the productive stuff in the morning. I've heard that before. Yeah, I'm sure you have. But truth be told, mastery is found not in hearing new things, but in doing what we already know to do and synthesizing that, applying it to our life. Because truth be told, we don't know it until we do it. You might have thought about it, heard about it, walked about it, talked about it, prayed about it. But until unless you did it, you don't actually know it. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Marinate your mind on that for a moment. You don't know it until you're doing it, until you're living it, until it's your way of life. Now you know it. And uh, truth be told, there was a time where I would go to bed a little later. I'd, you know, have a kind of a sluggish start to the day, wake up maybe around seven or so, you know, meander down and do a little exercise, but it wasn't very uh, well orchestrated. It wasn't very strategic. It was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. And uh, this is a season of my life where, you know, I was uh, newlywed. I uh, had ambition, but I was more just, I wanted to savor uh, the season of my life with my wife. So you know, it wasn't really like, you know, balls to the wall like it is now. Now I've got three businesses, four kids, a dog and a wife. It's a full life. And I've got to find a way to be more productive with the same amount of time. You know, I'm only working 40 hours a week 
And to build three businesses while having four kids, uh, that's not going to be a sane adventure unless I learn how to be pretty dang productive and focused and leveraged with my time. So I've heard, I've had to, by virtue of necessity, learn how to do this. In many cases, doing it the hard way, but in many cases, also learning from other people who are further along than me, who are more successful than me, that are more productive than me, and learning what their hacks are, learning what their strategies are. And invariably, what I see among the most productive, successful people in my circles, in my communities that I'm a part of, and there's some uber successful people that I uh, am mentored by and learn from, the one golden thread you'll see woven amongst the rhythm and routines and rituals of these uber successful people is their morning routine. I call it the magic morning routine. And that's where you're strategic about not just uh, your mornings, but also your evenings, because your evenings are inextricably linked with your mornings and vice versa. If you are staying up late, binge watching on Netflix, the chance of you maximizing your mornings are slim to none. You know it and I know it because you wake up later and you've pretty much just kiboshed your opportunity to maximize your morning because you are binge watching at night and all of a sudden now you got to sleep in in order to catch up on your sleep. Not to mention the fact that if you're staying up later, you're messing up your circadian rhythm, which is basically that 24 hour clock where you are most likely to get optimal REM sleep, optimal recharge time. So going to bed earlier allows you to get better recharge time and it allows you to prime the pump to maximize your morning. So that's a key part of the ritual and routine to be more productive to, with, in your day is go to bed earlier and then wake up earlier. As good old Benny Franklin once said, early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. And it's just as true today as it was when good old Benny Franklin, Franklin first coined that phrase. And so what is a magic morning routine look like? Well, it looks like instead of getting sucked in the vortex, putting out fires, dealing with loan level issues, pipeline management, replying to email, and getting caught up in the minutia, which chances are, if you're like most mortgage professionals, drains your battery as opposed to charges it, we want to do the opposite. We want to strategically charge your battery first thing in the morning. Because whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not, you are in the energy management and creation business. Because truth be told, when you feel great, you do great. So 99.9% .9 of the equation is to create rituals and routines and habits that fuel your rocket so that you launch into your day like a cannonball out of a cannon so that you are fired up and you're ready to kick ass, take names, chew bubblegum, crush it, and you are in it to win it. You're ready to show up and shine. You're ready to bring your best, do your best. And in order to do that, you got to feel your best. So rituals and routines are a key piece of it. Everyone has champion level ambition for the most part in this business, although there are some exceptions. It's easy to have champion level ambition. The problem is most people have champion level ambitions, but chump level habits. You can't get million dollar results from trailer park rituals, routines, and habits. It's just not going to happen. You've got to up-level your routines if you want to up-level your results. And it starts with your morning routine. What are you doing first thing in the morning for the first two hours of your day? Are you getting caught up in the quagmire, in the minutia? Or are, or are you starting your day with a routine that fuels your rocket? It might be you know, if you're someone who's spiritual, it might be meditation. It may be going to the gym and exercising, hitting two birds with one stone with what we call learn while you burn. It's called net time, no extra time needed. So you can hit two birds with one stone and improve your health while you improve your wealth by listening to inspiration, motivation, and education while you do your exercise routine. That's learn and burn. It might be having visualization, affirmations. It might be joy journaling where you're journaling gratitudes or journaling your dreams or journaling the times where you were scared, you were scared shitless and you do it anyway. That's what I call your courage journal. It may be 
time to just really get yourself fired up listening to some music that gets you feeling unfreaking stoppable. I call that your soundtrack of awesome. There's lots of different arrows we can put in your quiver with your magic morning routine, but notice none of that has anything to do with low level issues, putting out fires. None of it has to do with pipeline management. None of it has to do with replying to email because all that shit will drain your battery. We got to charge your battery. Otherwise you're like the person who keeps driving up the mountain uh, of success, but never tunes up his vehicle, never fuels up. It's just a matter of time until that vehicle is on the side of the road building smoke. You know it and I know it because if you don't do self-care, you're going to be running on fumes. And some of you, you're running on fumes and you wonder why, even though you're making great money, you're not having fun, you're not fulfilled, you're not enjoying the journey, you're stressed out. You're, so I'm here to tell you, if you want to have a champion level life, if you want to have your best life, you got to start cultivating champion level best life habits. This is one of the most mission critical ones that everybody that comes on Planet Prosper and joins the uh, Mortgage Marketing Tribe, MortgageMarketingCoach.com Tribe. That's one of the foundational keystone and cornerstone habits is the magic morning routine. When you win your morning, you win your day. When you lose your morning, you lose your day. The cool thing is you do this right and you fuel your rocket first thing in the morning. You're ready to kick ass, take names, chew bubblegum and crush it by the time you know 10 o'clock hits. You've already won your day. You can let your business go to hell in a handbasket dealing with loan level issues for the rest of the day. And you still won that day because you started it off right. And so that's one of the ways to manage yourself within time is fuel your rocket in the mornings. The second secret that top producers use that gets them in the upper echelon of income earners on earth working 35 hours or less a week is the hour of power. The hour of power is a sacred non-negotiable hour every day to focus on rainmaking instead of paper pushing. Unfortunately, most people in this business, they treat rainmaking and proactive, uh, preemptive, proactive prospecting as a luxury as opposed to a necessity. And they wonder why their income is up and down like a yo-yo. They wonder why their income is up and down like a roller coaster ride from hell, up one month, down the next, up one month, down the next. Why is that? Because as soon as their pipeline, you know, what happens is things get sluggish, things get slow, things start to stagnate, they get off their ass, they get to work, beating the bushes for business, they do some prospecting, they meet with some realtors, they reach out to their database if they have one. They beat the bushes for business. They bring in some business. The pipeline fills up. What do they do? They start to coast. They start to drift. They start to neglect those proactive prospecting activities. Next thing you know, the next month goes down again. So this is the up and down roller coaster ride from hell. And the reason why they never have consistent growth is because they are their own worst enemy. They're their own bottleneck. And they don't have a consistent daily hour of power that pushes the needle on profit and performance in their business and continues to fill their pipeline. So what happens is they just do it by necessity. And so it's feast or famine, feast or famine. And they let the famine be the blowtorch under their ass every single you know, cycle to get them back into proactive prospecting. And instead of, instead of being... You know, the person who's fueled by fire singeing their, their arse hairs, so to speak. If you're a dude, if you're a lady, well, I sure hope you don't have arse hairs, just saying. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, you get the hellfire of that, you know, oh shit moment of like, I better get my poop in a group. I better get moving here because otherwise I'm going to have skinny kids. My pipeline's starting to dry up. So notice it's this reaction, reactionary mindset of always reacting to the hellfire of, oh shit, I better go get some more business versus having it be a daily routine, a ritual. Now, one of the reasons why mortgage professionals have a hard time doing this is because their prospecting sucks. Let's just get real. They don't have a kick-ass value proposition. They don't have a unique value proposition. They don't have a real strategy. They're just kind of throwing yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks. They're using caveman methods from the dark ages like cold calling realtors, for example, or they're doing really lame ass strategies that, you know, will take them forever to get to their income goals, like doing three social media posts a day. So they spend all this time polishing up the perfect plans with a flawed strategy. I don't care, care how many social media posts you do a day. 
If you're relatively new in this business or you don't have many fans or followers, that's a great way to do it the hard way. That's a great way to waste your time with fruitless toil. And that's going to be a slow grind up the mountain to get to your income goals. If you've done that for more than a week or two, you know that to be true. So it's not enough just to be filling your days with a bunch of tactics, working hard. We got to get you working smart. It's not enough just to be splashing around in the ocean. We got to get you using the right form, using the right technique, the right strategy. So we actually get you moving in the right direction. Otherwise, all that splashing is just exhausting, but it's not moving you towards Paradise Island. We got to get you moving forward with traction and working efficiently instead of just working hard. There's no brownie points at the bank for working hard and doing it the hard way. There's no merit badges for that. That's just, you know, unnecessary uh, expended energy that frankly should be used towards having a better life, a more fulfilling life, a more fruitful life. So the hour of power is about focusing like a laser beam on the most potently profitable activity you can ever do in your business, getting in front of top producing realtors, identifying their pain points, their challenges. We call that the diagnostic discovery meeting. And then for what we call your show and tell meeting, which is basically showing them how to fix the main problems in their business, where their, their business or their marketing is losing steam, where they're leaving money on the table to their competitors and where they're doing it the hard way. And frankly, You'd be surprised. Even top producing realtors are leaving a shit ton of money on the table doing it the hard way because they just don't know what they don't know. And so that's where you can come in. So instead of just being another lame ass loan leech trying to leech, leech loans from them, you're bringing massive, unique, compelling, irreplaceable, indispensable value. You're positioning yourself as a marketing partner instead of just another average Joe LO loan leech trying to leech loans from them. And as you probably noticed by now, just offering great rates, great service and throwing and asking for them to throw you a bone with one of their, you know, tough loans is doing it the hard way. That's definitely doing it the hard way. And, you know, again, if you want to do it the hard way, knock yourself out. But if you want to take the shortest path to the cash, to your income goals, I suggest a more efficient, higher leverage, more compelling dignity intact method, which would be attraction marketing instead of just chasing, begging, bribing, and hoping they're going to just flick a crumb off the table that you, you know, you're able to, you know, scavenge as a last resort loan officer. You don't want to be the last resort loan officer. You want to be their go-to. You want to become irreplaceable in this indispensable. You want to be able to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. In order to do that, you need to change your approach from chasing to attracting, from them, you know, feeling like they're in the power position and you need them more than they need you. That's called being in the bitch position where you're the proverbial loan bitch and they'll just tow you around by the nose and they'll use you and abuse you and get you to do all the, you know, difficult deals, the crap deals that have talons and fangs and are growing hair. You know what I'm talking about? Those kind of deals. Instead, you want the cream of the crop. You want the best of the best. You want the high caliber, high quality, easy to convert, uh, the ones that are you know, conventional loans, the higher average commission per deal loans, the ones that are more appreciative, that are easy to close, that send you referrals before you even get the deal done, that send you five-star reviews, that have friends and family of similar, similar ilk, high quality, easy to close loans. How are you going to attract all those types of clients if you don't have a strategy to do so? How are you going to attract those kind of clients consistently if you're only doing it once in a blue moon? The hour of power linked with our battle-tested proven system for attracting top producing realtors to make you their exclusive is the most powerful, profitable way to grow to your business, bar none. But you need to have the right strategy. You need to know the words that work to be able to book these appointments without messing around doing it the hard way, cold calling. You want to be able to just book appointments with top producing agents at will, like a hot knife through butter. How do you do that? That's precisely why smart growth minded mortgage professionals hire us at mortgagemarketingcoach.com to learn the secret sauce and have the battle tested tools and systems and campaigns and to get the elite level world class support and coaching they need to do exactly that. So hour of power is really about focusing on the most potently profitable activity you can ever do in your business, 
which is not paper pushing. It's rain making. It's not in the minutia of doing loans. It's beating the bushes for business and bringing more business in. That leads me to the third secret for time management, which is obviously block scheduling your hour of power, obviously block scheduling your magic morning routine, but also block scheduling time to focus on that rainmaking instead of, instead of paper pushing, making it a mandatory must, a sacred non-negotiable mandatory must instead of an optional luxury. If you're really honest with yourself, do you treat your rainmaking and proactive prospecting activities as a mandatory must or as an optional luxury? If you're like most mortgage professionals, if you're really honest with yourself, it's a optional luxury. You get around to it when you get around to it. That's no way to grow a business. That's no way to create a thriving business. You may be able to survive like that, but chances are it's hard to thrive like that. So that's where you want to put policy, procedure, protocol systems in place. You want to have the right people, the right team, the right technology in place so you can focus on what you're supposed to do as a loan originator. Originate loans. Novel concept, right? Your job, 80% of your day should be rainmaking, not paper pushing. 80% of your day should be originating more loans and doing what you do best, which is meeting with clients and cashing checks not getting caught up in the quagmire, the minutia of chasing paper, pushing paper, and doing all that loan level, you know, operational stuff that should be handled by a top shelf processor, that should be handled by your operations team. If you don't have that in place, you should consider moving to a new company. If you're licensed in Texas, South Carolina, and Florida, but you need to find a company that can provide that to you. Otherwise, you're shooting yourself in a foot in the foot every day by virtue of not having a kick-ass team to handle operations because you need to be spending 80% of your time on rainmaking instead of paper pushing. So if you're watching this right now and you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm loving what you're talking about. I need more of this. I need to focus more on my hour of power. I need to maximize my mornings. I need to make my mornings magic by focusing on fueling my rocket first thing in the day taking that rocket fuel, channeling it towards my hour of power. I need to focus more on rainmaking instead of paper pushing. I need to delegate more so I can do what I do best and get the best of all the rest. But what's the formula, Doran? How do I attract these top producing realtors? How do I push the needle on that? What do I say? How do I say it? What's the words that work? What's the battle-tested campaign? How do I position myself as irreplaceable and indispensable? Well, if that's you, and you're wanting to learn more about how you can leverage our secret sauce to double, triple, quadruple your income, make more money in one month, used to make in three, four, five, six months while working smarter, not harder. I invite you to book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We're going to have an honest conversation with either myself or one of my consultants. You're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to take it. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, though, my friend, you will leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun along the way. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, book a call. We just covered the three time management secrets the top producers use to close more deals with less effort with a whole lot more fun, flow, and fulfillment. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.